Let's go to your voicemail. Voicemail number is 2192 David P. Here's a voicemail from Noel about Krakatoa metal band, Lewis. Very exciting. Hi, David. This is Noel in Georgia. Uh, well, generally, I would agree with your assertion that concerts or festivals that are um, recent get, uh, attract a lot of posers. <laughs> I myself only went to Lollapalooza in 1992 because I thought I recognized the name Red Hot Chili Peppers, and apparently I had no idea who anyone else was that was there. <laughs> I will tell you, I think the reason that this argument failed was specifically involved in metal uh, heads. When I mentioned to my husband about Krakatoa, I instantly got quizzed. What kind of metal? Where do they play? Who are their influences? So, uh, at least in my personal experience, um, guys who are into metal, excuse me, people who are into metal, um, are very specific and very knowledgeable and less likely to be, like I said, posers who just show up at festivals. So support for Lewis's theory Thank that you. those who go to metal shows, contrary to those who go to other m music shows, are highly engaged, highly educated, and knowledgeable about the music band's influences, styles, that are that are present there. That is my claim. So anecdotally, we now have heard from Lewis and Noel. Does two people believing the same thing make it true? That's the question we need to analyze. Very good. And another voicemail about uh, this one following up on the David Pakman tie situation, which I don't find to be much of a situation, really. Hey, David, you do a great job, by the way. Regardless of uh, what people think about your hair or whether you or whether or not you wear a tie. I mean, people, for crying out loud, it's all these middle-aged white guys who are so jealous of you. <laughs> they need to get over themselves and figure out what's really wrong with the world, not how you look, which, by the way, is pretty hot from a woman's point of view, I imagine. I bet you're knocking the girls down all the time. Anyway, <laughs> you do a great job, and don't worry about the, the morons on the right who wear ties. I'm sure they look plenty fine to their people. Bye. All right, wow. Well, so some, some positive reinforcement there, Lewis. What do you think? I think we should just do without the tie from now on. No tie. I mean, that I, I thought about going back to the tie. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary. Okay. I might sprinkle it in a couple times during the week. What about a bow tie? Bow tie, I don't think we're going to have. Okay. Yeah, I don't see myself doing that. Just an idea. The last day is tomorrow for the Indiegogo fundraiser. Please go to our website, davidpackman.com. The bright green banner at the top of the page takes you to the Indiegogo fundraiser. Contribute what you can. We've got perks starting at $10.00. Also become a David Pakman Show member. This program stays on the air and is, is really only on four days a week now. It didn't used to be because of the growth of the membership program. Support this type of programming. If you be believe it is important, if you believe it's good to turn on DirecTV or Dish Network and have the David Pakman Show available to you, then become a David Pakman Show mm -hmm. member. Go to our website, davidpakman.com slash membership. Sign up and then be around tomorrow when we have a brand new show, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. See you then. The David Pakman Show at David Pakman.